Hey folks, happy Friday. It's Rod with Pow Group. Welcome back on the pursuit of wealth through home for MJ stocks, crypto assets, news and interviews. Also home to the best MJ community and the channel that was created by a retail investor for retail investors. As I mentioned, it's Friday. Happy Friday, November 8th. Earnings seasons continues. Today we had Canopy Growth, Cresco, Oxley, some notable ones. We're going to dive into Canopy Growth's Q2 2025 earnings results. They were not great. Spoiler alert. Uh, of course, the highlight section uh, was pretty positive, but everything else was pretty atrocious, not going to lie. Uh, they missed estimates in terms of revenue slightly, and then they had a huge miss in terms of EPS, so I wouldn't be surprised if the stock was down about 10% today. It was down 4 or 5% after, well, after hours in pre-market. Uh, we'll see if uh, if things start to accelerate to the downside once the bell rings and the market opens, but overall not looking great. Uh, we'll dive into it though. Before we do, make sure to smash the like. It helps support me in the channel. If you're new, you can subscribe. Take the bell, you'll be notified on any future videos or when I go live. And as always, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment purposes only. Never buy or sell anything based on anything that I say or write. And full disclosure, I do own Canopy. Uh, it's not a huge position in my MJ portfolio, but I do own it nonetheless. You can follow us over on X as well, formerly Twitter. Handle for that is at GroupPow going to be using that as my platform of choice going forward. And if we scroll down here, I posted this video yesterday, earnings prep for Q2 2025. If you're not familiar with those, I go through all of the analyst estimates. Sometimes it's a dozen, sometimes it's more than a dozen analysts that we add up and we get an average. So I said what we were expecting in terms of average for revenue and based on Wall Street analysts was 64.341 million Canadian and EPS was negative 0.5 zero one five estimate so revenue came in at 62.991 so a slight miss there versus the 64 and uh, EPS earnings per share was negative 1.48 versus negative 0 0.5015 so huge miss in terms of EPS there we'll go through the highlights so stores and Bickle net revenue increased 32 percent year over year in Q2 continued uh, continued gross sorry, continued growth across medical MJ businesses with net revenue increasing year over year by 16% in Canada and 12% in international markets. It's almost like uh, Canopy, the Canadian division is like turning into an Aurora <laughs> and they're just like focusing on medical and sort of this ancillary type, type stuff with like source and Bickle and paraphernalia, right? Further improved balance sheet with early repayment, prepayment, reducing senior secured term loan by US 100 million. So that's not bad. And all this is reported in Canadian dollars unless otherwise stated. Uh, we'll go down a little bit here. There's going to be a conference call as well. I will scroll down where when is the conference call again? Let's just bring that up here. Yeah, 10am Eastern time. So in about 30 minutes. And then, yeah, we had some other notes here from the Palgrave private community. We were all discussing this. Yeah, I wasn't expecting much from this quarter, as I mentioned in the video yesterday. But yeah, this is this is pretty bad. Their gross margin was 35%. And what else? Cash and cash equivalents. Uh, so before we get to that, actually, gross margin was 21.83 million versus 23 0.426 million for 2023, the same period, so down slightly. And if we take a look here, yeah, cash and cash equivalents, cash and short term investments balance increased to 231 million September 30th, 2024, from 195 million in June 30th, 2024. And then if we scroll down. Yeah, so it was 228, right here, 228.416 million as of September 30th, 2024. And that is up considerably from March 31st, 2024. In terms of uh, cash, not too bad there. But yeah, overall, the report was less than awesome. If we go down here, yeah, this is comparing, that's the six months. So let's do the three months ended September 30th. So if we go down to cash and, hang on a second here, where are we at? So this is for the 
six months, and then it's September 30th, 2024, and it's comparing 2023. So yeah, 228 and 242, so down slightly there in terms of cash, but yeah, not the greatest report. Um, you know, as I mentioned yesterday in the video, the earnings prep video, that it's probably going to be a while, at least a few quarters, we won't see... They mentioned uh, Wana. That we won't see their acquisition of acreage until they said at least like spring. So I would say probably summer, if not fall, of 2025, and then we should get some insight into their deconsolidated financials. But as of right now, you know David Klein set to retire in March. There's not a whole lot to uh, to really drive the stock in terms of uh, catalysts, and it's going to be at least a year or two before we see any kind of real profitability metrics. And as you can see, their their loss and their earnings per share is just insane <laughs> uh, 131.6 million loss so not great not a great report at all uh, if we take a look yeah we're down markets just opened we're down about two and a half percent at the moment i would expect this to accelerate not gonna lie if we take a look at the daily time frame here it is a bear flag by the looks of it Make sure I had that drawn correctly. We could still see the EMA 12 and 26 bear cross as well, which I mentioned. Not loving that. And then if we just take our measured move here, yeah, anything under that 0.32 fib there at 477 is a daily bear flag. In order to confirm it, we need to lose the low there at 415. So if we lose 415, the measured move is 342, uh, which would mean from current levels to that measured move target would be about a downside of about 22%. Hard to say if we'll get down there. You know, I doubt it today, but crazier things have happened. Here we are down over 3%. From the close yesterday to the low of the day today, we're down 4.3%. Uh, weekly time frame's not looking too bad. We did have a stochastic and a weekly bull cross, a weekly MACD bull cross, but still below all of our weekly moving averages, still below all of our daily moving averages, probably going to be at least a couple of weeks before we see a golden cross there. So I would expect a little bit more downside. Yeah, three and a half percent at the moment. So yeah, don't be surprised. I mentioned if we were down five to 10% on CGC. Let's just take a look at the rest of the sector. Yeah, we're not seeing a whole lot of movement either on the sector. So I would expect at least... Um, 5% down today at some point, maybe even 10%. But yeah, not great at all. Oxley just uh, released their report as well. It's actually really, really good and uh, excited to dive into it more. And also I'll be interviewing CEO Hugo Ox uh, of uh, Oxley, Hugo Alves. And that'll be on uh, November 15th on Friday next week. So if anybody does have any questions, let me know. But yeah, this is... Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I doubt I'll be joining the conference call. If anybody's on the call, let me know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. If there's any highlights uh, that you want to share, but I probably won't make the call today. And honestly, there's not a whole lot going on anyway. So yeah, it's uh, tough times out there for Canopy. Um, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say. That's, uh, that's a pretty disappointing report. Uh, maybe they can pull something out of their hat during the conference call, but I'm not holding my breath. Uh, but let me know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comment section below. Like I said, I think it's going to be at least a year or two before we see any major momentum shift in terms of uh, their financial performance and profitability, et cetera. Uh, but uh, I'll probably do a video on Oxley earnings at some point soon. Cresco had earnings out as well. Uh, they were okay by the looks of it. Um, didn't really see anything major. Uh, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll catch you on the next one. It's Rod with the Power Group. Thanks again for joining us on The Pursuit of Wealth. And uh, once again, happy Friday. I hope you have a great weekend ahead, and we'll see you again soon.